Hi Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading for October 23rd through the 29th. I'm going to be taking a look at the person on your mind, how you feel about them, how they feel about you, the connection between the two of you. I will be clarifying each card so energies can change as I clarify. This is general. It may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel so you never miss an upcoming read. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and jump right in. I will be pulling an oracle message at the end of your reading from the Queen of the Moon Oracle deck to give us some more insight, guidance, and clarification on your situation. Show me, how does Aquarius feel about the person on their mind? So you don't trust this person. Seven of Swords, Six of Wands, Four of Swords, and the Judgment card at the bottom of the deck. It's like you don't trust this person, um, but you want their attention, but then you don't want to talk to them. It's like you're going through trying to figure out if you want to stay in this situation with this person. What's going on here? Seven of Swords, like I said, the Six of Wands and that Four of Swords. It's like you have to make a judgment call on if you're going to stay, if you're going to go. Can you trust this person? Um, you have me really curious about what's going on in your mind right now. But let's go ahead and look at how this person feels about you. They're holding on a little bit, but they are trying to let go. They're moving slow. They um, don't want to share their feelings. I get like they're not going to apologize or something like that. Things are taking forever. The Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, they're paying attention to the details of the situation and feeling like things aren't really moving. They're going really slow and I don't know. I think I'm just going to hold back from sharing my feelings or opening up here and feeling like very uninspired and just feeling like they should just focus more on work. So the hangman in reverse, knight of pentacles and the page of cups in reverse. Also, if there was something that happened, they're not going to give you some kind of apology that you're looking for. They're really t procrastinating on um, bringing that message, that apology to you. Let's go ahead and look at the connection between you and this person. Page of Swords, Knight of Swords in reverse. Whoa. Someone found out information about the other person, or you both found out some information which led to some relationship drama when things were going good. Someone started digging for information that they didn't really need to be digging for. Or may, I don't know why, but you know, that Wheel of Fortune when things were going good and it led to catastrophe. It led to everything being destroyed because somebody went digging for things that really upset them. Um, so like they believe the other person is cheating, lying, I get that that is you with the way that you're like, I just don't trust them, but it could be them. Maybe you don't trust them because of the fact that they're like, well, I looked into this about you and you're like, why would you be looking up if I'm doing something wrong? I've given you no reason to feel that way. So let's see. Some of you actually found out this person lied, had a new you know, relationship or flirting with somebody new and it completely shocked you like, oh my gosh, but you also kind of knew it in a way. It's like you weren't really trusting them and you're like, I knew it. I knew this. Um, also some having a baby with somebody else, not you. Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck right here. So you can't trust this person. You feel there was somebody else. They definitely destroyed everything. And you're like, I knew it. They were holding secrets. And, you know, they run away and act like they don't have to deal with me. However, this Six of Wands right here, it's like you want their attention because you feel they hurt you. They should fix things, you know, with you. Um... 
and give you clarity, but yet they're giving you nothing. So we have the Nine of Wands, the Four of Wands, and the Ace of Swords, as well as the Two of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I understand it hurts. It's like, I want them to show me that they actually care about me and give me the attention, you know, like, I'm sorry I hurt you. Let's fix this. Let's work on it. But instead, that's not what you're getting from that this person. Um, you're at a crossroads with them on this situation. So let's clarify this Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is clarified by the Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords, and the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Um, you know, with a lack of communication, or you two having this break in communication, even a break from each other, there's sadness and disappointment and feeling alone and isolated and hurt. You really want an apology from this person. You feel like they owe that to you. Um... And you can't heal until they give you that. Let's go ahead and clarify this hangman in reverse. The hangman in reverse is clarified by the Page of Wands, Two of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles, and the Judgment card at the bottom of the deck. So this person, like I said, they're they're trying to let go, but still holding on a little bit, wanting to talk to you, but not doing so, going back and forth, should I, shouldn't I? They definitely feel like it's hard to face the judgment with you and that you are going to judge them. Um, do they want a second chance? They do, but they don't know how to face this situation with you. So let's go ahead and clarify the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so the Knight of Pentacles is clarified by the Magician, the Eight of Swords, and the Ace of Wands, Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So they are definitely moving slow. Um, it's like they try to, and they're like, "All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go talk to Aquarius," but then they get really stuck in their head. Um, about things, it's like they can't let go. This I'm gonna say it like this: the connection between the two of you is incredibly strong, um, and whatever happened, whether it's a third party person or you know somebody going digging for some information, and it just led to things blowing up beyond proportion. Regardless of that, this person still has this draw to you. They just they can't disconnect their energy from you that easily. And they do want reconciliation. They keep thinking about it. They're like, I miss, you know, I miss Aquarius. I want to be with Aquarius. But there's also the fact of being stuck in their head like they made a mistake. Um, you know, they went after something because it was attractive and they shouldn't have. And they don't know why they did it or whatever. Um, and if it's not that, you know, I, I can't say it's a relationship. This could be anything from like, maybe they were gambling and bought a new car, whatever, you know, something like that. But it, I do see a relationship and something being found out. Even if it's not like a relationship, more like situationship. They don't love this other person. If there's another person, they don't love this other person. Um, they just find them fun, attractive, whatever, but they're not trying to pamper them or anything like that. They're actually guarding themselves and allowing this other person to give them attention, if that's the case. Uh, when it comes to an apology here, this person is very stubborn. They're not the kind of person that goes and gives an apology, but they will nurture if you come to them but they are guarded and it's like no i can't i i just i can't face aquarius right now so they hold back they're also feeling down like maybe i'll just hold back from saying anything and um even though they know more than not 
everything will be fine or could work out. It's like they just are scared to deal with it. The outcome between the two of you. The two of cups, the seven of cups, the sun, and the three of wands. This person might be your soulmate. They might be the person that, you know, because it hurts you, that you could spend your whole life with. There is the possibility that you two can um, fix this situation. Um, it's all going to be within the choice of both of you wanting things to grow um, and they have to show up, you know, they have to show up and tell you that they want to fix this if that's the case or whatever. But I see like there's waiting here. I also get that with that seven of cups that there is another option, you know, that there's more than one soulmate that makes someone happy and somebody is waiting to make a decision like I don't know what to do. So I get both of those coming out. I just know that there was something found out that definitely causes things to go a different direction. But I do see things going good if you two want to make it work here. All right. So, yep. And it was meant to come out that way. All right. The first card that comes out is trust. Okay. And the second card that comes out is nourishment. All right. So let me go ahead and read those to you. The trust card says, trust yourself, develop self-trust and joy will follow. You can rely on your own capabilities, begin to plan carefully for the future. All right, and the nourishment card says, now, do you also have other options in love coming up? Yes, like this might be your person, but there's other options out there that would make you happy. You just have to, go and you know explore or wait for something better to come along and not worry about this person just so you know nourishment says choose to nourish your mind body and spirit feed your values when you are jealous or envious it is a sign of what you are actually hungering for pay attention to your health absolutely so this is what i have for you aquarius if it resonates go ahead and hit that like button i will see you in your next reading coming up have a good rest of your day bye